G'day guys, how you going? It's Laz here. A little bit of something different for you. We're going out to the motocross track today to do some filming. So I thought I'd uh, do a bit of a commentary on the way out or a bit of a vlog on the way out. So here we go. Me out with Tim today. Might let him go in front actually. He's got a faster bike than what I do. So I'll let him go out in front. Whoa! That was a bit of a hard spot there. Alright, I'm going to let him go out in front. He's got the faster bike. And I'm running into some water here, which my bike just doesn't seem to handle too well. Whoa, big rock. Now I nearly come off around here the other day. It's pretty gnarly, there's like some mum. Oh shit. Rats like that. <laughs> now I'm just trying to miss all this water and shit because My bike really does not handle it too well at all. Oh, oh, see what I mean? Just the front end just slips out on me. Yeah, I had it just here it was. Yes, the had nearly guts are there. Right. So anyway, like I said, we're off to the motocross track. We're going out to do some filming. And uh, I'll be sticking that up on the on one of the channels, anyways. And uh, oh, rocks! So yeah, now I'm just gonna miss this because this is, this is where I fell off last time, guys. Right in here, hit that puddle of water. I went over my... Oh, I thought he was going to go through. Copping some rocks in the uh, face. Beautiful. Yeah, so it's always best to let him go in front because um, he's got the faster bike, so I like to let him just go. Do you want us to go down that way? Yeah. Just get there quick. I miss this so much, I didn't realise <laughs> Uh, you know that, see those big ruts back there? Yeah. That's where I nearly came off the other day. I was going belt and eh? it's so much fun. I'll follow you. Woo! Yeah, so that's why I let Tim go in front, because he's got a, it's a KTM 525 EXC. I'm only riding a 250, so. As you can imagine, it is quite hard for me to keep up on the straights. Um, in the shorter, tighter stuff, I'm a little bit... I can, I can keep myself up with them and that. Like, I kind of hold my own a little bit, but... Yeah, that's... <laughs> as you can see, he's got a much faster bike than what I got. So, but oh yeah, at the end of the day, at least I'm out here giving it a crack, you know what I mean? So, yeah, can't really complain. There's a lot of people out there who wish they did have a bike to ride like this, you know? So. I shouldn't be complaining with what I got. However, guys, as you watch on and watch my videos further and further, you'll, you know, you'll hear me have digs in my bike and, you know, telling how shit it is and that. So, <laughs> I'll never change. I'm always going to whinge about it. Whinge about it until I get my um, bigger bike, anyways. Now it's going to be interesting because just down a bit down here. There's a massive gap in the road. And it's going to be interesting to see if Tim remembers it. So I might get up behind him to see, see what happens. I should have pumped up my front tyre before we came out. It's a little bit doughy. I keep, I keep losing it a bit there. Yeah. 
hit that bump pretty hard. Yeah, the tyre's holding up. But yeah, so this is a kind of ride and you'll see when um, I go out with Tim. Um, we don't generally go out this way. The only reason we're going out, like I said, is we're going out filming today. <laughs> yeah, so we're going out filming. But normally we go out uh, west. West way. Um, there's a few nicer tracks out that way, a few more things to see. But um, yeah, we'll go out this way today. Now, I think I'm probably going to edit some of this. The simple fact that it's a long ride and I don't know how much I'm going to talk. The only thing I don't like about riding behind people, especially in this kind of uh, terrain, it gets real dusty and really hard to see at some time, so... Sometimes it's better just to hang back and... Uh, take it cruisy so I don't hit anything I don't want to hit <laughs> so I've got all my protection on today I've got a long sleeve shirt Woo! I got my garden gloves and uh, hopefully in the next two days I'll get my um, my armor should be in the mail um, I should also have some gloves coming as well so I'll be uh, well protected for those of you who don't know I had a bit of an accident probably about two, three months ago, got up here, um, you know, riding out in the sand in Perth, in the beaches and stuff, you kind of get a bit overconfident, you know, because you, you know if you fall off in that, you're pretty, uh, well, you're pretty uh, right, you know, it's not going to hurt too much, it's not going to hurt too much at all, but then you come out here, and this stuff's like falling on bloody bitumen, it's bloody hard, and obviously, uh, Oh, we got a river crossing. Nice. I don't think I'll go that because I've got a. I've got. That's why <laughs> I've got a camera in my bag. I don't think I will cross this. <sighs> I don't know if I want to cross it with the camera in it. Might go across there. again this path now this does get rather bumpy from memory yes there it is so it does pay to take it easy through here guys I have to say I have been down this track once before Uh, fuck! Ooh! Just missed it! Okay, so remember, next time, second time I've done that now, there's a dry riverbed crossing there. Do not hit it, it will hurt. <laughs> Holy shit, there you go guys. There's a kangaroo for you. That was up close and fucking personal. A little bit too close for my liking. <laughs> so there you go guys, that's one of the dangers of riding here in the outback. Fuck off kangaroos. Oh my god, that was so close. I can't believe how close that was. If you want to get any closer guys, I'd have to be hugging that motherfucker. Oh my god. Oh. I was on the brakes so hard then. Oh, my heart's still pumping a little bit. That's an adrenaline rush right there for you guys. Holy snap and duck shit. Oh, 
there you go. I came good on the promise of seeing a live kangaroo the next time out, didn't I? And it was uh, a nice and close one. <laughs> Anyways, guys, we're just heading down the track now to go to the motocross. So it won't be too much further now. I'm pretty sure we have another couple of uh, little creek crossings to go over. Especially that it's rained. It's going to be pretty, um, pretty full, actually. So I'll take it easy through there. I've got a 12 Oh, fuck. About a $1,500, $1,800 camera on my backpack. This is going to suck anus. So I kind of don't really want to fall off and uh, damage it. Because, uh, like I said, I'm out here trying to do some footage for a... Um, out here trying to get some footage for the um, for a film I want to do, like a little quick edit. I don't want to gank film, I want to actually make my own, so get my own footage and that, so I don't really want to gank it. So here we are anyways guys, we're at the, at the motocross track, I'm not going to film going around it because I suck at it, and some of these jumps are just fucking insanely mental. Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed that rather exciting adventure to the motocross track. I'm Laz, thanks for watching, don't forget to leave me some feedback down below. And I'll catch you next time. Cheers.